Today we're talking hyperbole. And this is gonna be the very best lesson you are ever gonna see or anyone could ever see on hyperbole. You're just gonna love it to death. And just like Leo is the cutest animal in the whole wide world. And oh, this book on rocks, it's the hardest book to read. You will never be able to get through it. Okay, did you get it? Those were a few examples of hyperbole. And hyperbole is all about exaggeration and extreme exaggeration to help make a point. And we use it a lot in our conversations, sometimes in our writing, and it makes it a little bit more interesting for sure. Here are a few more examples. Here's a basic one. It was really funny, but if you were to use hyperbole, you might say, I nearly died laughing. Obviously, you didn't die, but it's a hyperbole. It's extremely exaggerated. Here's another one. I am hungry. What could be a hyperbole for that one? I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Obviously, that's not literally what you would do, but it's making your point. Here's another one. He can jump high. Hyperbole might be, he jumped so high, he touched the sky. Just a little bit of exaggeration. Okay, check out this book. Tune in to the hyperboles the author used. Parts by Ted Arnold. I just don't know what's going on or why it has to be, but every day it's something worse. What's happening to me? I think it was three days ago I first became aware that in my comb were caught a couple pieces of my hair. I stared at them amazed and more than just a bit appalled to think that I was only five and starting to go bald. Then later on, I don't recall exactly when it was, I lifted up my shirt and found a little piece of fuzz. I stared at it, amazed, and wondered, what's this all about? But then I understood, it was my stuffing coming out. Next day, when I was outside playing with the water hose, I saw that little bits of skin were peeling from my toes. I stared at them, amazed, and then I gave a little groan to think that pretty soon I might be peeled down to the bone. Then yesterday, before my bath, as I took off my clothes, a chunk of something gray and wet fell right out of my nose. <laughs> I stared at it, amazed, and thought, I should be feeling pain. Well, wouldn't you if you had just lost a little piece of brain? So now today I'm sitting here enjoying Dr. Seuss and suddenly I realize a tooth is coming loose. I wiggle it, amazed, dismayed, too horrified to speak. Without my teeth, how can I eat? Already I feel weak. Now I'm really worried. I'm as scared as I can be because finally what's happening is very clear to see. The glue that holds our parts together isn't holding me. And now I'm thinking of myself, what's next in line to go? Might be my ears, might be my eyeballs. How's a kid to know? One day I might be playing ball and have my arm fall off. Or maybe I could lose my head if suddenly I cough. <coughs> Quite soon I'll be in pieces, a pile without a shape. Thank goodness Dad keeps lots and lots and lots of masking tape. What? You forgot to tell me teeth fall out 
And when they do, some brand new teeth will soon begin to sprout. My hair, my skin, and everything? There's nothing I should fear? So all of me is normal? Phew, that's really good to hear. Then tell me, what's this yellow stuff I got out of my ear? Miss Maguski, you're the best PE teacher in the whole wide world. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. But you know what, Miss, Mrs. Freider, you're the best librarian in the whole universe. Woo!